I'm starting a brand new RuneScape account in 2023 with a twist, and it's all because of you. Thank you all for the 100 subscribers and welcome, Defiant RS. Welcome everybody and thank you for joining in. Today we've got a special one. Um, we just hit a hundred subscribers, which is absolutely phenomenal. Thank you all for your support. I really appreciate it. If you are tuning in and you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to do so. We have a couple of things we're actually gonna be aiming for um, with this series. Number one, of course, we're starting a new character. But number two is um, we are actually going to not use any keys. We're gonna stay free for as long as we possibly can. And the quests, we can only do quests by release date. Oh yeah, look at, look at that cinematic. Absolutely triple A. So let's go ahead and talk to Toriel. I want a fortune and glory. Okay, we're gonna go to a fishing spot real quick. So yeah, we're, we're gonna try to not use the treasure hunter I'm just uh, I'm I'm just interested like now with the um, with necromancy changes like does it automatically take us to necromancy or does it wait you know what I'm saying like I know free to play only gets what level twenty I think so I think that that would be pretty interesting um, really just to find out gotta catch twelve of these things so we'll be back easy peasy level two under my belt for fishing. Nice catch. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I, I try my hardest. I try my hardest. So we just uh, right click, light those logs. We're going to light them right next to the fire. And then, of course, we are going to use these crayfish. Cook it right on the fire here. Maybe not. Maybe we're going to cook it on the, the actual bubbles in the water. Boom. Level up cooking. <laughs> Level two. Got it. Got it. Level two is easy, Pete. Level three. We got level three, boys. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So that was fast. Easy. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta cook one more. There we go. Okay, perfect. So. Wow. Okay. I have enough food now and I need to mine my own resources. Okay, cool. So we're gonna be going and mining here, but. Um... <clears throat> So what did I what I saw here in the activity tracker before it actually selected what uh, it wanted me to do in the first place? It wanted me to go either choose um, mining and smithing or go bank. I think that is something that they need to change. I think they need to do banking first before mining and smithing, so that it leads you over to the bank and says, "Okay, here's the bank. It's right here, little money sign. Obviously, a bank um, is money signs. We're gonna go ahead and mine out five tin. I think that's probably good." 510 yeah now that i have five copper we're gonna go ahead and get 510 because we are going to be smelting this bad boys into bronze ours Ooh, what is that a level two juicy level two all right all right so we have the five copper in 510 or super simple now we're just going to come out here and we're going to go ahead and smelt it at the furnace here um, we are going to be making these bronze bars. Now we're just going to grab this. We'll come over to the anvil and start pounding it out. That is great quality work. Thank you very much, Linza. I want to make a full suit of armor. Sorry, I don't need your help right now. <sighs> you better watch your tone with me, girl. So this is something you gotta you gotta pay attention to. Um, whenever you are smithing is that change in tone like you can listen to it now so you hear that really high-pitched ping that means that your um, that your item had cooled down enough and you were getting less um, out of it whenever you, you hit it uh, we'll go ahead and grab bronze plate legs and maybe get the first quest out of the way because remember the quests Level three. 
the quests are um, going to be done in release date order. So the very first quest that was ever released, we're going to do that one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, etc. Um, not being a member might uh, impact that a little bit, but for now, it is what it is, you know. All right, so now we got the bronze boots. We do need some gauntlets, but we're gonna also need some weapons on what we want to what we want to do. I don't know if I want two-handed dual wield or maybe just like a sword and shield. Um, I think I might just go with. Man, I, I could probably get some claws going. I think that would be kind of fun, is to have a dual wield claws. You know, that would be kind of cool. Level four mining. Yippee-ki-yay, we are on the way. Um, so I do need the bronze gauntlets here. Super simple. Put those on. So bronze claw. And then we'll, I think we'll do the offhand claw too. I think that would be fun. Level four, heat cap raised by 50. It's because we're, we're on fire right now. That's why it, that's why it did that. Boom, offhands are completed. Take a look at myself right now. Ooh, daddy, we are absolutely just ooh, smoking right now. The troll chuckers, which is arranged, um, which means that we have, we're actually very good against ranged um, combatants. So here we go. Boom, look at that. Blade, Storm, Drape already dropped. So that's really good because that is a melee damage and armor. So now we have that going for us, which is really good. Cool. So that was it. Um, very simple, straightforward, to the point. Um, it was just kill five, and now we're heading back. All right, so now we're going to uh, defeat Morningstar, the Troll Chucker boss. Our very first boss ever, PVM. <laughs> There he is. Look at him. He's got a bunch of green on him. It means that means he's ranged. Oh look, they give us some uh, some food. Very cool. All right, big boy, let's go. Yeah. Again, whenever you slaughter. So um, we did get his bones and a offhand mace, which, eh, not really that great. Woo, level two woodcutting, look at that, bam. So, and the reason why I'm not using necromancy right now is because I don't want to get into the, um, into the, like, into it, the skill, right? And then be stuck at level 20. Uh, I'm not gonna be a member just yet. Hey, level two attack. Boom, Fletching, level two. Simple. Okay, cool. So we did level up uh, defense to level two, which is fantastic. I love that. All right, level two, level two, level two. It's good. Rope top, I just wanna make one rope top. And then we are gonna make, what, rope bottoms? Yeah, wizard skirt. And voila. So pretty much what this first task is you just have to have the spike gauntlets because that is the only way to um, kill these guys at the very end. So you'll do damage, 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 and you use your spike gauntlets to impale them and rip out their slimy souls. Rip 
this soul out of your body. Yeah. We'll probably do need to do some money making just to get some um, a decent amount of runes and stuff like that to help us along the way. But it, uh... level two slayer. So now we're gonna come over here and defeat our second boss, the magic sticks. Left click confuse. So we are we're gonna try to confuse this guy. Gonna cast that on him. There we go. Girl, we know. Okay, we're we're sitting here right behind you. We're gonna is is asphyxiate him real quick. <sighs> like Darth Vader choking you to death. Wait a minute. We need to confuse him again. There you go. Boop. Down goes the boss. So now we're going to go ahead and travel to Lumbridge. Um, it wants us to activate the lodestone and taverly. So we're going to go ahead and run down here and do just that. But we want to go to Lumbridge because I am wanting to do the very first quest that is on our quest log, which is Cook's Assistant. All right, so this is where we start the Cook's Assistant, the Cook himself, the main man, iconic Cook, the one that just, he's just not very good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and accept that quest. Uh, we'll go ahead and just grab all this. I don't think we need it, all of it, though. If I'm not mistaken, we probably just need the empty pot um, because we need to go and get some stuff. So the quest now says I need a bucket of top uh, of, of top quality milk, pot of extra fine flour, and a super large egg. There should be a bucket, yeah, right there. Okay, perfect, so this bucket, we'll grab that. We'll go ahead and climb up the ladder. Okay, cool, so we are gonna go over and we're gonna grab the wheat and get it ground into flour. We'll just run right over yonder. <clears throat> okay, we'll go ahead and pick some wheat and we'll go into this windmill looking place. We are going to climb uh, top. Okay, all we do is we're gonna investigate this hopper. We're gonna use the wheat on the hopper to fill it. What? To ask the lady how to do it first. Bruh. Now that that is realigned, we'll go ahead and climb up to the top. We will go ahead and use the wheat and plug it into the hopper. Then we're going to go ahead and operate the hopper controls here. Now that that's done, it's going to fall all the way to the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and jump right down here. We're going to take the flour from the flour bin and it's going to go into there. So extra flying flour. Now that that is done, now we need some eggs. Um, there should be a, an extra large egg right over here. So we'll go ahead and grab that real quick, but it should be right there. Yep, there it is. Take the super large egg. Oop, gotta open this gate first. Perfect. So super large egg has been acquired. Now all we need is a bucket of milk. And so we are going to go over and milk our uh, dairy cow. I'm gonna milk the prized dairy cow. I forgot about that. Oh, there's a bucket right next to her. Sweet. Okay, perfect. So we do have the top quality milk, the super large egg, and extra fine flour. So now we have everything. Boom! 
Cook's Delight, the uh, Cook's Assistant quest is now completed. The first of many. Uh, boom. And we got some cooking experience up to level 7, which I love. So the next quest up on this list is Demon Slayer. So we are going to run to Barok because we are going to try to do Demon Slayer right here, right now. All right, Varrock Lodestone is completed. We have got it unlocked and we're ready to teleport all over the place. Father Lawrence, Gideon, bed, bead, bed. In the name of Sarah Doman. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yep, we'll go ahead and accept this quest. Demon Slayer is now started. Now, this is the second quest based on the release date filter. The second quest. So we are on the right track. Okay. So we're going to go down this little trap door here. And we are going to attempt to get <clears throat> silver light. Step into the chasm. Got it. Step north. Got it. Step north. Got it. Step east. Got it. East. Got it. North. Got it. North. Got it. North. Got it. West. Got it. Another west. Got it. Gotta go south now. Okay. West. West again. North. 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 Delworth. And Gideon Bade. Bed. Oh. Okay, that was easy. Last one. Last one. Then we'll be able to get silver light. Very easy. All right, cool. So I got all three of them done. Um, I'm, I think I talked to them again. Okay. Go ahead and take silver light. Wham! Look at it. It actually looks kind of nice, you know? I like the way silver light looks. You probably need to talk to... Ah, it left us a scroll, see? You gotta use your eyeballs. Southeast part of Varrock. Look for a trapdoor. Got There's the trapdoor right there. Perfect. I'm slabbing them. Magic is now level two. Level two magic. I think we just got. What is that? What is that death noise? Okay, so we did get Omni Power, which is really good. 200% to 400% ability. Power, which is nice. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, the way that this works now, if I'm if I'm remembering it correctly, he will throw up a barrier that I need to stay within. Yes. So he'll, he'll shield us from those attacks, which is good. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, hold on. Let me, uh, let me get the silver light. Can you come over here? So we have 100% um, hit chance. So we are basically gonna easy, easily kill this guy. Wink. Ah, slay you. Okay, Demon Slayer's complete, perfect. So uh, three quest points, three combat XP lamps worth 100 XP each, the Holy Sword Silverlight, which is cool. Um, ooh, we, got, we did get a wand and a book. So that's kind of cool. Perfect. Level five. Simple, simple, simple. Why did you put surge on my bar three times? Hello. Um, now the rest of us goes. So we do need to go back to Lumberidge, looking for a quest. Restless ghost. We got it. All right. So the restless ghost. Um, I should find Father Ernie, who is an expert on ghosts. He lives in a shack in the south of Lumberidge Swamp. So let's go ahead and start running towards him, Father Eric. Ghost is haunting the graveyard. Okay, got the ghost speak amulet. 
So that will make it to where we can now speak to that ghost who is haunting the graveyard. Boop, there he is right there. The old ghost himself. Not very good, actually. That's the problem. I should go and search the mining spot on the coast south of Lumbridge for the ghost's skull. Search rocks right here. Cool. Ooh, ooh, big boy. I think I brought some meat. Holy cow. I'm gonna omni power him as soon as I can. It'd probably be good to start getting uh, these, but I'm gonna have to make some money. Level up in defense. Level four. Easy. All right, we're gonna use this skull on the coffin to go ahead and put his head back in place. All right, so um, pretty simple. We'll go ahead and, ooh, there's a level up in prayer. That takes us to level six. Oh, that's another level up with prayer. That takes us to level nine. That's good, so we, we, we're at level five magic, level four defense. We do have nine prayer, two slayer. Uh, level 11 constitution and seven cooking which is fantastic sheep shear mini quest we might as well knock this one out let's go ahead and get it done with this shear his sheep that are the black ones all right very easy very easy indeed and we will make all of these into the black ball of black wool Bada bing, bada boom. Level three uh, crafting. So now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and run back to Fred at his farm and hand in these balls of fur, wool. And we'll see how many we have left over. I'm hoping we have enough left over so that I can make a full um, outfit of wizard armor. Wait a minute. Did this boy just take all of our... All right, level four crafting, done. The sheep shearer is done, but that means now I have to go and shear all these sheep again. All we need is our wizard gloves. Boom. Dang, dude. Check this out, man. Holy cow. Oh, look how much better that looks, man. Thank you all for joining in. Hit that subscribe button. And always, stay nerdy, my friends.